upsetting on so many levels. It keeps happening. And as you'll hear shortly, there are calls for something different to be done this time, potentially prosecution for these individuals, which, you know, they are protected by free speech. But what, if anything, can be done? We'll explore that. But first, just a little bit uh, on the background of these flyers. Many were found in multiple cities in and around Beverly Hills, Westwood, uh, Brentwood, just to name a few. They boasted conspiracy theories about Jewish people starting the pandemic and a slew of other things. And what you're looking at now was a disturbing scene that was captured on a 405 freeway overpass Saturday. That sign read, Kanye is right about the Jews, referring to his recent anti-Semitic posts. And then hours later, early Sunday morning, is when these flyers were found on driveway doorsteps, car windshields, uh, all in Westwood, Brentwood, Beverly Hills, and Bel Air as well. And it is believed that the flyers and the overpass incidents are connected. They listed the same website linking to a hate group. And here is video we obtained first on Fox of a car believed to be linked to this. Cameras captured the moments that someone within that car flung flyers into Westwood properties around 1.30 a.m. Sunday. Um, I want to bring in Jeff Abrams right now. He is a regional director of the Anti-Defamation League of Los Angeles. Thank you so much for being with us. So much to unpack here. Short of saying their name because we don't want to give this group any attention, what do we know about the perpetrators behind these incidents? So the, this group is very well known to ADL and to law enforcement. It's a group that peddles their hate in this community throughout Southern California and across this nation. They use various tactics, like you see with the leaflets, the banner that was dropped on the 405 just earlier this year. They drove a bus through Beverly Hills. These propagandists, their sole goal is to provoke a response, to terrorize the communities they're in. This time, particularly with the banner drop on the 405, however, it's different. How, how is it different? And what, if anything, can be done in response to all this? Well, this time, what the banner said was, honk if you agree, Kanye is right about the Jews. And what is happening is that these hate groups are now leveraging the anti-Semitic tropes that Kanye West has been peddling on social media, on interviews, broadcast interviews. And so these groups that peddle in this hate are now leveraging Kanye, not just Kanye as imprimatur, but that as well of his millions of followers and his business partners, companies like The Gap and like Adidas. So those actions clearly have consequences. Well, this is proof positive. Kanye has lit the fuse. And so the groups, the extremist groups, our Center on Extremism and ADL, which tracks these kind of groups, they're talking about Kanye with great glee that now he's on their side. But just as this group with their leaflets, their banner drops, are in certain parts exercising their First Amendment rights, we too, businesses too, also have their own First Amendment rights. And, and that is where we're talking about if something potentially could be done to prosecute. Okay, one last question. There's been an alarming surge in anti-Semitism. What numbers are you seeing in the Los Angeles area and nationwide? The numbers are staggering. In L.A., they're up 28 percent. Nationwide, they're up 34 percent. What we're calling on is people to do something, and particularly with Kanye. Go to our website, ADL.org. Run away from hate is our campaign. Sign on. Tell Adidas that what their partner is doing is simply not okay with you, and take action. Thank you for your time. We really appreciate it. Again, Thank that you. website is ADL.org if you want more information. And we will continue to follow this story and have the latest online and also on Fox News at 5 o'clock.